Hello people, Jugglet here. So once again, you voted and it reached a thousand votes and I gave myself the task of making an alien killer concept with three teachable perks. So here's what I've came up with. At the start of the trial, four of the hooks are surrounded by eggs. Any survivor hooked on the brood hooks will cause the eggs to open. Any survivor to unhook a survivor on the brood hook will unfortunately have a face hugger leap onto their face. So that's two eggs per brood hook, so eight in total. Any survivor with a face hugger attached to their face suffers from the blindness and exhaust aids effect. After three minutes, a face hugger will hatch from the survivor, killing the survivor instantly. However, this can be countered by passing it on to another survivor. Three minutes, six minutes, nine minutes, twelve minutes in total. Only two alien babies can be active at one time, so the face huggers can only be active twice on the survivors. However, again, there's another counter to this. Jumping into a locker for three seconds removes the face hugger from the survivor. However, passing by the same locker within 10 meters of the locker doors causes the face hugger to leap back onto your face or a teammate's, and whilst it's in the locker, it's still incubating. So you've got to be really careful and play cautiously around lockers. You're basically creating traps for the alien. So it's like a trap that kind of kill us, similar to the hag or something, but the survivors are in control of where these traps are. A face hugger locker will make noises and rumble. So you can sort of tell where they are. And also a fully incubated face hugger locker will be highlighted in your yellow aura. All face hugger lockers will be highlighted in a yellow aura to the alien. So you've got to play around the lockers with caution. As for the main alien who you're playing as, Xenomorph, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've never been able to say that correctly, but maybe I've just said it correctly. She has two modes, Normal and Skulk. In Normal mode, she moves at 115% movement speed and the terrain is 32 meters. So kind of basic, kind of, you know, normal. However, in Skulk mode, she moves at 125% movement speed and her terror radius is 16 meters. She cannot attack in Skulk mode. But she's on all fours, so she's harder to see or hear. So she's got a small terror radius, she's kind of stealthy, and she's on all fours, so you can't really see her that well. Whilst leaving Skulk mode, you move at 90% movement speed and it takes 3 seconds. Upon leaving Skulk mode, you leave a pool of acid and leap into the direction you're facing, landing on two legs, causing your tail to sweep 360 degrees around yourself. That's a 2 meter circle around the killer. Catching a survivor with your barbed tail causes them to lose a health state. Once in normal mode, by pressing M2 she can spit out acid once every 30 seconds, leaving a 1 meter patch of green acid on the floor. Any survivor who comes into contact with the acid screams, revealing their aura for 4 seconds. So, in both modes you've got different things. You've got one where you can move quickly and stealthily, or you've got one where you're a bit more oppressive and you can sort of eliminate mind games because you're leaving these pools of acid, which reveals auras of survivors. So a quick breakdown of how a game with this killer could go. You spawn into a game, manage to locate some survivors in stalk mode, you see them from a distance but they haven't heard or seen you quite yet. So you swap into acid mode, leaping forward and getting an early hit on a survivor. When I say acid mode I mean normal mode, you, you know what I'm getting at. Okay, you then spit acid onto the floor where the loop is, the survivor has managed to get to this loop. Once they are down you hook them on one of your brood hooks. Thus starting the chain of face huggers. The survivor is unhooked by another survivor who unfortunately has a face hugger leap onto their face. That survivor can jump into a locker and remove the face hugger if it wants to, but that face hugger is going to incubate regardless. The locker is highlighted in a yellow aura to the killer, giving the killer a trap-like playstyle, only the survivors are placing the traps for them. The survivors will be aware of where their incubating face huggers are purely by the sounds and shakes of the locker, but don't get too close or you could be in for some trouble. If a survivor is unfortunate enough to be killed by a face hugger, it has a unique death animation of an alien bursting from their chest. There will be an icon for each survivor showing how long they have left before the face hugger kills them. So like uh, similar to how you can see Freddy's timer when you're going back into uh, dream mode and stuff like that. But you can see everyone's. If a survivor dies or DCs from the trial, the face hugging timer is adjusted accordingly. Four minutes for three survivors and six minutes for two. 12 minutes in total, no matter how many survivors are in the game. A locker with a full incubated face hugger will also be highlighted to any survivors. That's the killer's main power and sub power of the way, and I think it's kind of a nice hybrid of a demo slash pig style play. Sneaky leaps and a side objective for the survivors to deal with. Now for the teachable perks. Perk 1 would be Burst of Knowledge. Every time you kick a generator, the two generators of the most progress will be highlighted in yellow and white, respectively. 
Perk 2 would be Barbed Hope. At the start of the trial, you move 5% slower for 30 seconds. But once the last generator is powered, you gain 7% haste for 45 seconds. So that's kind of like a trade-off. You're going to go a little bit slower at the start, but once the last generator is powered, you're going 7% quicker. So that'd be pretty insane for certain killers. Perk 3 would be Silence. At reaching 50% progression on any generator, a difficult skill check is triggered without a sound cue. Failing the skill check caused it to explode and lose 8% progression once per generator. So you could kind of do like a gen build if you wanted to. You could go with that and you could use Merciless Storm. You've got these difficult skill checks. It'd be great for the Doctor or something like that. Anyway, that's my idea for Alien. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, like, comment, subscribe, other YouTube things. Take care.